My name is Matt and I am an artist. I've been drawing since third grade, just actually a long time. I have a lot of books at the house. I started drawing because I was bored. I was in class and I was, this gotta be something better than this. Perfect. It really started with like a little bit of creativity and then being that both my parents drew, they saw I did it and it started threw gas on the fire. There's a few that have been tricky that I've had to like sit down and sit back on. One of the hardest pieces I've done is actually one I'm still in the middle of doing. There's one I'm doing with a nature scene almost where it's, it's a lot of flowers and stuff like that, mushrooms and trees and tree stumps. It's interesting to try and put together because it's almost like a fantasy and tattoo style combined. I'm my biggest critic. It's plain and simple. I mean, I've had a thousand people look at my drawings over the years and it's, it looks so good, this and that, but they don't see how I see it. It's like looking through it like a cyborg screen. Like I just analyze every little inch and crevice of everything the way even just to the, how thick the marker comes out, it bleeds too much if it's too thin, if it's too thick, if the lines aren't straight enough, the color isn't right, if there's streaks, anything like that. I, I pick up on all of it. I think Matt gets his inspiration from a number of things, whether it be nature, cartoons, all his friends drawing different things. He takes everything and then puts his own spin on it. His style is so different. All that graffiti is so different from what I'm used to. He's so urban and I can't honestly say where he gets it from but just in his persona it just it comes out in his art it really does. The first time I got paid for my art was in sixth grade in my math class on the third floor. I was in there drawing her muddy pretty much so so I want one of those. I was like I'm not gonna do that for free. I was like yo let me get a dollar and I'll draw it for you. The class he had a dollar and the class he had a drawing and I was like this is nice. It was, it was immediately, I don't know, was, I got that dollar and I was like, I'm gonna get more than just one dollar from this. Cause it, it, I'm doing something I love. You always hear, you, you know, you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. And I really believe that. I think Matt tries so hard to make a living out of his art because that's something he loves to do. I mean, anyone's always told me is like, if you want to have a job, don't make it a job, make it something you want to do, something you love to do. Otherwise you're just gonna be miserable. So I think that's why he does that. Ever since I was little, I've always pictured myself turning my drawings and all that into a clothing line, which I think would be perfect. I mean, you can fill up books and books and books and books, but you really, you can't just show around with every page showing, but if you have clothes out there, shirts out there, you sleep and your artwork's out there being shown because other people have it on, or it's, it's in the window in the stores, or it's on TV or on a billboard or on somebody's back. I've sold a lot of my art actually, but it's always been what the customers requested. It's never been like, oh, can I take that out of your book? No. That's a lot of difficulty when you're drawing for other people, not just for yourself, because their idea of a drawing could be totally different from yours. And if they don't really know what they want and you have a better idea, you know, it doesn't match out. I've had the conversation with the client and it's like, okay, I want this and I want that. He'll say, oh, I'll have it done by the 15th. Okay, so you have the money by the 15th, you get paid. All right, cool, I'll have the drawing done. So I write everything down, make sure like, I ask them if there's any colors they prefer, anything like that, or if they just want me to have full creativity. So I write everything down or anything like that, and I get it done. I'm like, All right, this is gonna be the solid price. And then the 15th comes, and I'm done, and I'm like waiting to meet up with them, and they don't show up. Or if they're late. And then I send them the picture, and they love it and everything, but they don't understand why it should be so much. And honestly, I, the price, I always try to make sure it's fair. I'm not gonna try and haggle anybody out here. But I mean, we get to the solid price, and then like a few days later when it's done, all of a sudden, it's, it's a problem. It becomes irritating, because it shouldn't be so, honestly, I think it really should be simple. When you come down to a solid price, I do this, and you do that, and then it's over, you get on your way. But it's always a bump in the road. I would never let bad business get in the way of something I actually really love. I mean, it's irritating and stuff like that, and if I get irritated, I'll just, go play Xbox and shoot a few things on Call of Duty and let up some steam. With Matt, I learned so much through his work. It's what he loves to do. Like, it's just part of him now ever since he probably started doing it. You can see it through his work. He's worked really hard to do it. Getting paid after doing one of your drawings or anything like that is really just icing on the cake. It flows. It's like when you're at work, you're looking at the clock every 10 minutes. I just want to go home. When you drawings, you get engulfed in it. And it really, it's not as... It's irritating as having to wake up and go to work or whatever. You can choose when you want to do it. You can choose what you're doing and you're working for yourself. Nobody's telling you what to do, when you have to do it, how it has to be done. All those colors and all those different ways you can do everything, it's up to you. I think that between making a lot of money and doing art, that Matt would probably pick art and just tough it through. 
because I, I couldn't see him doing anything else. I'd rather make that, that lower amount of money and do what I love, honestly. It'd mean more to me. It really would. I'd rather work on what I love doing and make sure I work towards making the same amount of money I would have been making, settling to do something else and work on my art and work on whatever part is weak. I'd rather stay home and work on what's in my soul than go out there and pretty much just blend in and do something I'm not really happy doing. It's easy to get a nine to five.